extra minutes. It is fantastic. Look at the height, it's like a cathedral, isn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful airplane, isn't it? It makes me want to speak quietly. <laughs> well, when you're flying on the Dreamliner, I'll tell you, it's a quiet airplane, but not too quiet, so you can have a conversation with the person next to you. No, I believe there's a lot of psychology in this, I and mean, it feels huge to me. Well, when you come into a Dreamliner, you know, you're not necessarily going to have a flight attendant to welcome you in the airplane. So we wanted to create an atmosphere in this airplane that welcomed you all on its own. And with this new entryway, with this new ceiling, I think we've been able to accomplish that. So this is a typical business class on a Dreamliner. Oh, I like to think that's my natural environment. Well, it is very comfortable. These, these are lie flat seats. Yeah, these are great. I love this. But it's not just about the seats in this airplane. It's also about um, the experience, the architecture, uh, the large windows, uh, the big bins, the new lighting. Uh, we've done a number of things on this airplane to make it look different for the passengers. No shutters on the window. There's no shut shutters. It allows you to take a look and enjoy the horizon no matter where you sit on the airplane. The other thing about these windows, it, there is no mechanical shades. They're electronically dimmable. So uh, you can choose the amount of light you want through uh, the window, but even when it's at its very darkest, it's a little bit like a polarized lens that you can look out and still connect with that flying experience. You can still see the horizon. It makes it a very special flying experience, not only if you have a window seat or you're in the aisle or you're in the middle seat. I guess to some extent, it makes every seat a window seat. When you look at the airplane, you absolutely see a different architecture, very open, um, very welcoming in terms of its design. You have the large, large overhead bins or lockers. It enables you to store everything that you bring onto the airplane close to your seat. And the thing I like most about uh, these new bins is the latch. So you can pull it from the bottom or you can push it from the bottom, it will open. You can pull it from the top, you can push it from the top, it will open up. So we've tried to take some of the stress out of the flying experience. The other thing I think that makes this airplane different is the lighting. You know, when you're flying on a long haul mission, 10, 12 hours of flying, it's difficult to adjust yourself for the new time zones. So on this airplane, uh, flight attendants can not only adjust the intensity of the light, but the color. So while you're eating a meal, maybe you have a nice soothing color. As you get closer to sunrise, uh, the intensity can come up. So we can actually go through a day in the life, uh, as we might say, in that airplane to help you better adjust. Randy, it is very soothing, because remember, I've been stuck in traffic, then I've been given a bad time by security. I'm already over-traveled, and then I get in here. Our objective is to make sure what we control, the airplane experience, is as good as it can get. And all this flies more economically than its yeah. forebears. You know, if you take a look at long-range travel today, about 50% of the cost of a ticket is fuel. And a Dreamliner enables our customers to reduce that fuel burn by about 20%. That's a big number, 20%. So I can travel in this palace and it might cost me no more. Well, that's up to the airline, what well. they're going to charge you. From a Boeing perspective, we're trying to make it as economical and environmentally progressive as possible. Thank you. Thank you.